So now our search bar is working fine. Let's now move forward and reduce this list according to the query we are typing here. That's exciting and interesting and very important because we are using here a list of countries which is a future kind of list and here we are using future builder which is getting the countries in the future so we cannot actually reduce this future variable or future list just by typing here so what we need to do so first thing i will go on the text field and i will say on change whenever there is a change i will trigger a function and that function name is filter countries and that will get the value whatever we type so value comes here and we need to create this function this underscore saying that this function is going to be protected we cannot use this function outside this class so just below in it i'm going to create a void function and that function will grab the value and let's just print so that we are ensured that everything is fine okay so now i will go i will type something and that's something printed here cool this means now we need to work on this reducing part hmm if we try to reduce this this is not going to work so simple thing is let's move out from the future builder and you will say why we have used even future builder so future builder is very useful when you have something which is coming from api coming from network and you don't want to change that later but because we are going to change it we don't need this future builder so i need to move out from this future builder so i will remove everything from this future builder or simply i will grab this list builder because this list builder we need so i will cut from here and then i will remove future builder paste that uh, list view and then we can see now we have a problem with a snapshot so instead of snapshot i can simply say country index and again here instead of that i will say country index and one more thing let's remove these commented part like this and now we have some problem it says country is not there so it is countries actually and now we ha don't have index we actually have index so why it's giving error yeah so this is actually the problem so it, now it's saying that uh, this kind of operation we are having is not defined for the future list hmm so this means we need to move out from the future list so this is not anymore a future list it's a simple list and even this function is not returning anything and now just by uh, just by assigning the value we get from this instead i'm going to say dot then then it will get grab the data whatever the data we get from this function and then i will say set state or uh, actually we are on in it so we can simply say countries is equal to uh, data okay so like this hmm so it is seems to be working no error here but we have error at the last it says we don't want any semicolon so let's remove that semicolon and we want a comma to format these things so things are looking good but still we have problems so let's go here and it says uh, future list build is not instant of something method but let's do a hot restart and we will see some error we we are getting hmm. so it is restarted and now it says method was not called on null initially the value of countries is null Hmm. so we are giving the value on the countries 
after some time so we are saying then whenever we when we complete this function then grab the value so initially i can say it's just an empty list and now it will going to work you can see this but what if i re hot reload so let's keep our eye here and it is hot reloading and you can see it says invalid range is empty zero hmm now we have another problem the problem is like on this list view builder we need to actually provide the item count so if i go on list view builder list view builder uh, required item builder which we have given but it also required item count so item count is countries dot length so initially it will be zero but after some time it will have some value so it is working fine when we hot reload but what if we hot restart so when we hot restart let's see yeah it has blank then blank and then blank and nothing comes here why that happened hmm there is some problem okay so what we can simply say that this future or uh, this list view builder we only going to show this when we have some value on the country okay so it's again an interesting thing so if we say countries dot length is greater than zero then show this builder otherwise i'm going to show circular progress indicator this is a widget given by our flutter so this means if i go and hot restart because whenever we hot reload it will change the state and state get the data so it will show the list but now it's saying this uh, circular progress bar but the point is even after that we are not getting the country so that problem comes because of not using the set state i was trying to use that before but i thought that it was good it was okay without that but no it was not so now run it hot restart it and after some time we will get firstly the loader and then as soon as we get the values we are having the list very nice and what if i can simply say this circular to be at center so center comes child and like this one more hot restart because we are we want to see the initial phase so that why, that's why we need to give the hot restart and at the center we have a circular bar after some time we have the list and now again in the next episode we are actually going to filter out the things from this list so if you have enjoyed these episodes if you are enjoying the building this app share this video with your friends and don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter instagram and linkedin we will meet in the next episode till then bye